Good morning, super cool party people. Wow, it's been, I feel like a long time since I've said that. And welcome to the vlog. It is quarter 20 to 11 right now. I woke up at 8.30, like I set my alarm for 8.30 to wake up at 8.30. And then when I woke up, I was like, wow, I'm awake. And I was like, I don't want to get out of bed. <laughs> so I stayed in bed until 9.30-ish. Ish? Maybe 10? I don't know. I stayed in bed and then I was on my phone. I am rendering my vlog footage right now but while I wait for that to happen not that it's gonna take too much longer I'm gonna go down cook myself some food and I think maybe start some bagels rising and then maybe start bread rising I'm thinking <laughs> I was trying to think last night the best way to do it and because the bagels only take an hour and a half if I get them start at first and then after they're started, get the bread rising, then I can get them both rising at the same time. So I might do that, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, today I'm just going to keep going with the list. I start. I wrote it down last night. Um, make my bed, clean my room. That's my like standard every morning thing that I usually do. Well, bed's not made yet, but it's fine. Um, edit vlog workout. Hopefully we'll do that today instead of nap. Um, to place DNAs to work on for my story. I should shower and then I have bake bread and bake bagels on the list and then invoicing. So it's not too strenuous of a list which is kind of nice um, but I'm sure I will find ways to waste time and not do it. Anyways I'm gonna go make food now and I will check in with you after. again I just finished editing the vlog and is exporting now but I decided that I was gonna make bagels so I went down like I said I was gonna do and like start cooking and the bagels and I think I screwed up the letting the yeast rise I don't think I made the water quite warm enough and so it didn't really rise as much as it should have and so the dough wasn't quite so it's I don't know if these bagels are gonna work out or not basically is what I'm saying we will see also I usually put them in like my dough always in a metal bowl, but because I'm thinking about baking bread and I need that giant metal bowl for the bread, I put in a ceramic one, or is it ceramic? It's probably ceramic. Anyways, different things. So I don't know if these bagels are gonna work out. And honestly, I probably should have just been like, the yeast didn't rise great. Like, let's just restart that again. But I didn't, cause I don't, I just, I didn't. And usually if you let it rise in like a warm enough area, that'll counteract it not rising enough in advance but I don't know I think I might have screwed it up we'll see anyways it is just after 12 now and I'm gonna do my thumbnail I have about 13 minutes before I need to punch the dough down and then let it sit for another 10 minutes so fingers crossed this all works out and then I get to shape the dough into the bagels and what's the last thing I need to do and then I need to boil it before I bake it so we'll see how it goes I think I'm gonna hold off on the bread for a bit though because it was timing was questionable with my lunch my lunch was a little colder than it should have been when I got to it but that is fine still feeling good I still need to deal with that situation there but baking bread is kind of a thing also I noticed that I still have like dough residue all down my head <laughs> and as I was like doing the last time lapse I was like oh I look like a slob anyways I'm gonna get onto this quickly because I'm running out of time but I just want to do a quick update and then after I get the bagels in the oven I think I'll do that <laughs> look at that beautiful bagel oh my god alrighty so I would say this time about six of my eight bagels looked like that good like actual bagels and one was all right and then the other one was I don't know what happened to it it barely has a hole but we're making progress last time it was four out of eight this time it's six out of eight maybe next time it'll be eight out of eight I'm gonna eat this now because it's gonna be delicious and um chill for a bit I think and then we'll maybe get to the other things on my list still trying to decide if I want to bake bread today or not We'll see. So I've just been sitting here and I was about to get into my story planning. 
so I went to the washroom because I had to pee and then my phone rang and it was my boss from Blind Channel and I'm like, ah, awkward. So I answered it and he, this is how weird my job is. So I just want to explain how weird my remote working job can be sometimes. So my boss called me and he's like, hey, I'm just um, on the boat and I'm towing a dock up Chancellor's Channel and like, man, this thing's almost sinking, but hey, I figured I'd give it a go and um, can you look into this invoice because somebody called and I can't look into it because I'm not going to be home. And I was like, yeah, sure, like, that's fine, I can look into it. So, and then I lose service with him because he's going into no cell service, so I just text him, I'm like, I'll email you once I figure it out. And so, fortunately, very recently, we've started tracking every run that we do. Every time the invoice is created, we put the invoice number in front of it, which is, like, amazing, because I was able to find it like that. Well, not quite, because apparently it was last week, that's what the email said, and I couldn't find anything until, like, three weeks previous, but once I searched the guy's name, I was able to find it pretty quickly, and I pull it up, I'm like, well, it was three weeks ago, and it's paid, so I, and I can't find anything else. I've looked, I've looked, like, four times through every single run we've had for the last couple of weeks, and, and, like, I searched the name, nothing else comes up, so then, I sent an email saying, like, this is all I've got. And so I tried to call the guy, phone number that I was given, not working. <laughs> so I tried it again. Didn't work the second time, didn't think it would. So then I was like, okay, I'll call it to Blind Channel. Can't get through. This go straight to voicemail, basically. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I'll call to my boss's house because his wife's the one that took the message. Straight to <laughs> voicemail. And so I got an email back because I guess my boss has enough service. And he's like, that's the only one I know of. He's like, is this message from today? <laughs> so anyways, I just got an email just now, literally, that says, okay, thanks for looking into it. We'll figure it out later. But it's like, this is how, like, I know I did a video forever ago. I think it was in October. I'll try to remember to link it where I talked about like logistics of the island. And this is one of the things where logistics gets a little crazy because if you need to talk to somebody that's on a boat, you're lucky if they have service. And if you need to communicate with them, it's insane. Like, thankfully he's had enough service, obviously, to send emails. So anyways, it's just, thanks for looking out. Blah. Just thanks for looking into it. We'll figure it out later, I guess. So that's good. I can ignore this for now. But yeah, like I'm just like, okay, this is what it should be. Okay, because like you need to get the information as fast as you can because if you don't get that information, you go lose service. Anyway, so that's how crazy my job is. I think what I'm going to do now uh, is go downstairs and pack my bagels up before I forget because they should be good to go away. They were so good. I really like I ate one and then I want to eat another one immediately, but I didn't. And I realized also that I don't have my work's phone number saved <laughs> into my phone. So I had to search the website. But anyways, we're good now. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I've done what I can do. That was the excitement for my day. So now I think, like I said, I'm going to get I'm going to put my bagels away and I'm going to get into this. Um, see if I can get two more done because then I'm going to do invoicing tonight, which is usually when I would be doing this. So if I get this done now, that's better. So maybe I'll do that and then work out. That seems like a good plan. Yeah. <sighs> just, just throwing my day off. It's so, yeah. My boss has been calling me a lot more lately and I don't know if it's because he's lonely or if it's because they're busy. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go. For real this time. This is going to be such a pain to edit. I hate past me oftentimes when I'm editing. It's fine. <laughs> Alrighty, so it is now just about five. I did what, <laughs> what DNAs did I do? I did a house of a main character. I did an office of an organization. And... I end up doing a third one that wasn't on my list, but I thought about it last night, and it's the condo of another, like, secondary character, so I don't know if I'll ever need that, but I, th I, th I feel like I've mentioned it forever ago, but having the small stuff for people's backstories, even if it never comes up in the story, is so important, I think, because you can just see where that person is coming from. Like, I have a character in my other book series that I'm working on and like I have probably like two full pages of backstory for her and none of that will probably ever come up but I know her history and it influences how she acts in the present and it's great like for example even this office that I was just working on like 
it's set up to look like a lawyer's office. I was like, okay, well, it's going to have like a door that's got frosted glass on it and it's going to say the lawyer's names and it's going to be peeling. Like, it's such a small detail that you really don't need, but it just kind of sets the scene for everything. So I think that went pretty well. I ended up doing an extra one that I thought I was going to, which is fine. And now I'm going to change into my workout gear, uh, which I wore yesterday and then just slept in and uh, just dance, I guess. <laughs> I was so full of hope like two hours ago when I sat down to do invoicing and now I've got like PTSD from this one account. Uh, it's not from today, it's the last time I did invoicing. It was like, it took me forever to pick through. I think like last time I did invoicing it was for like an hour and a half and that was on Sunday. Like it's just taking so long and so every time I saw this name came up, come up I just like nope I can't I can't and it was like straight up giving me anxiety I'm not gonna say PTSD but like anxiety over the thought of getting into it it took me the very first invoice that I started on it took me a half an hour <laughs> to do it never takes me that long to do things it just took so long <sighs> and um that was basically a marker of how it was going to, it took forever. There was like a lot to do, but it just, it took forever. Oh, so it is now just after 10. I am so glad that I did my, whatchamacallit, my writing earlier today, because if I still was like, oh, I need to do that today, I, I just wouldn't. So it's done, which is great. Um, I haven't showered yet. I did not think invoicing was going to take this long. I should probably jump in the shower because I probably should have showered yesterday. <sighs> and that's the exact same thing I said yesterday was, I'm going to shower. We'll see if I do, but oh my goodness, my brain, like I did not, I, it has never taken me that long. I think two hours was the longest it ever took me. It was two hours and 15 minutes today. <sighs> wow. <laughs> I just, I can't believe it. Anyways, I've made good progress on the day. The only things that I have not done our shower, bake bread, which I decided I'm not gonna I'll bake bread on my next day off, I think. Um, and I wanna refill my fridge because my juice is getting low and my pop is getting low. So the juice is under the bed. I have a bin with it and then there's more juice in the, fr in the fridge, not the fridge, the closet. And then my pop's in the closet as well. So gotta dig from a couple places, but I should probably do that. So maybe I'll jump in the shower and then do that stuff. I just like, my brain hurts so much right now and it is, my brain's just going a mile a minute, several miles a minute, and it just needs to slow down. So a shower might be a good way to do that. But yeah, I just want to check in because my eyes are not focused at all. There we go. I just want to check in because it has been forever, so much longer than I thought it would be. But in other news, exciting news, my grandma sent me her recipe for cinnamon rolls except she took a picture of it and that's not you it's blurry <laughs> so I'll probably have to either write it out or type it out because I cannot read that mm -mm. <laughs> well like I obviously can read it I just if I was trying to follow it I think I would struggle anyways I'm gonna go now and I'll check in with you in a bit as I was picking up the camera I was thinking I'm ready for a nap and I was like no Tiffany that's called going to bed. It is just about 11.30 and I'm pretty tired. I did have a shower and I did fill my fridge. So I did everything I intended to today except for baked bread. So that's a win. I also just wanted to braid my hair. Not a French braid though because that's a lot of effort, but this is kind of cute. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, um, I think we am going to sleep now because that seems like a good idea considering I have to be up in like six and a half hours. <laughs> So with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure and I will see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. But I actually leave the house because I gotta work tomorrow. <gasps> Good night. <laughs>